So here we have it, the best new KWA gun on the market. So before we get into this video, I'd like you to subscribe for more airsoft content, like this video, and leave any comments down below. So without any further ado, let's get right into this video. So in typical airsoft review fashion, let's start off with the external features. So up front, you're going to have KWA's new flash hider, which is a break from the typical birdcage flash hider, which we all hate so much. We also have an 11 inch rail system. And inside of that, we have a 10 inch barrel, which is implied in the name T10. And down in the middle, we have our ambidextrous fire selector switch, as well as our mag release, which is not ambidextrous. And on the back, we have a very nice six position stock, which has plenty of room in the back for batteries. And also in the back, we have a nice place to mount a single point sling. And up here, we have our bolt catch, which just makes the most satisfying sound I've ever heard from any airsoft gun. And accompanied with that, we have a rotary style hop up. Two flip up sights, which I'll doubt you'll ever use. A very nice textured grip. And a picky teeny rail to put any amount of bullshit that makes you feel happy. And now for the internals. So the gearbox this gun uses is KWA's AG3 gearbox, which unfortunately doesn't cut off when the magazine runs out of ammo like the older KWA gearboxes. You have a 10 inch precision inner barrel, a rotary style hop up. This is an ERG, meaning electric recoil gun. In the buffer tube, we have our kinetic feedback system, which creates a recoil effect. And all of this in a solid high quality metal body. And that's about it for all the internal features that we care about. Now the magazine that comes with this is a 120 round mid cap magazine, which has BBs in it. But in all seriousness, it's a very nice high quality magazine, which will last you forever. So now that we've talked about all the features of this gun, let's go ahead and shoot it. All right, so I'm outside ready to shoot this gun. I am using a 9.6 volt battery with 0.30 BBs. Expect much better results with an 11 mm micro. Yeah, that uh, recoil definitely makes this gun a lot funner. It's out of ammo, by the way. So I've shot this gun many times before. And due to the electric recoil system, shooting this gun just never gets old. As you can see in that demonstration, I was using a 9.6 volt battery, but this gun is made for 11.1 lipos, which will give you a much faster firing rate and much better trigger response. So now that I've talked about the features of this gun and showed you how it shoots, let me tell you about my personal experience with it on the airsoft field. So far, I've played at three fields with this gun, one being a public field and two being up in the mountains near where I live. I go up with my friends and we have about 10 different AGs, not including pistols. And by far, this is just the best out of all of them. Uh, it's more solid, it shoots farther than all of them, it shoots uh, straighter, more accurate than all of them, and just overall, it's such a good gun. Um, my experience at the uh, public field, I was able to shoot people from all the way across the map. I was able to get so many more kills than I normally do due to the range and accuracy of this gun. And I was even asked by one kid if this gun was uh, stock internally or if I had upgraded parts inside of it. And I said no, because I don't. This gun is going to shoot very far. It's going to shoot lasers right out of the box. You don't need to worry about upgrading. Uh, I would recommend just not touching it. It's perfectly fine how it is out of the box. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to go ahead and leave it a like. Uh, make sure to subscribe to this channel for more airsoft content. Make sure to go down, comment down below uh, any suggestions for videos I should make about uh, this gun or any of the other airsoft guns that I have. And uh, if you made it till here, uh, comment down below Ronin T10, and I'll make sure to go ahead and give it a heart. Uh, thanks for watching.